Hey guys, I hope you're all safe and sound working from home. Our team is pretty excited today to be launching our brand new email workflows. And as always, we've built this big new feature in a way that it's super simple to use, yet extremely powerful. It also works right on top of Salesforce CRM data, which as you might know, is almost fully automated based on data on emails, calendars, phone, email and web tracking, publicly available info, and so on. So in short, if you like to super easily automate your sales, do give Salesforce a try. We have a free trial on the site. Uh, but let me cut to the chase now and briefly show you three common use cases of our new email workflows. Contacting prospects via email can be extremely tedious if you don't automate the whole process. Email workflows can fully automate the email sending straight from your own inbox so nobody can detect that you've automated the emails. And also, they won't end up in the promotions tab like emails you send with MailChimp, for instance. You just need to go through a few steps to do that. First, import the leads you want to email. Then, as the audience of the workflow, uh, select the contacts that match the tag that has been added automatically when importing. Then select contact replies to any email as the goal so that the email stops sending as soon as a contact replies and then start setting up your emails below. You can personalize your emails based on any field you have available in the CRM, even with custom fields. And then you can also enable or disable the email tracking or add an unsubscribe link below. When you're sending email follow-ups, it's always good to send them as a reply to the previous email, as that will look way more natural than starting a new email thread each time. You can add as many steps as you like and set the delays between them. It's all super easy. And when you're ready, hit save here at the top or set the workflow live immediately. This second workflow is pretty similar to the reach out sequence I just showed you. The big difference here is that we made this a continuous workflow uh, rather than a one-off one. This means that Salesforce will continuously check who matches the filters you set for the audience and when new contacts match them at any point, they'll enter the workflow and they will, st will start receiving emails. You can do this here at the top where I'm pointing just by checking email contacts who match this filter in the future too. That's all you need to do to make this work. Something I didn't show you on the previous workflow uh, either is the possibility to make more complex workflows uh, than the sort of linear sequence. Here on email step three, I can for instance decide that it's not to be sent after step two, but after step one as well, like the second email, but I can differentiate them. So for this one, I could for instance say, uh, send it when step one hasn't been clicked, and I can go back and then change step two to send after step one has been clicked. That way, depending on whether someone clicks an email or not, uh, they will get a different email with the delay you set here. That way you can fully personalize your flows based on how your contacts are interacting with them and really anything is possible here. Third, many of you might be sending an automated trip campaign when people sign up for your app or for your email list. That's also one of the possibilities of email workflows. At the top, set the audience filters in such a way that Salesforce automatically selects the people who should get the email flow. Then mark the checkbox email contacts who match this filter in the future too to keep sending continuously and to make sure that every contact gets the whole flow uh, no matter what they do, and except uh, unsubscribe, of course, uh, just select no specific goal here at the top. Then go ahead and set up the different emails and the delays between them. In this case of an onboarding email flow, of course, it doesn't make sense to send the emails as replies to the previous ones, so I turn off that option here. Again, hit set live to set it and forget it. These are some of the most common use cases I can think of myself but much, much more is possible. So get creative, build some awesome email workflows and let us know what you've built in the comments. May the flare be with you.